thermochemistry. So I want to find the delta H for this reaction. So I need to flip these around, do some math, let make things cancel so that it, it looks like this, and then I'll do the same thing for my delta H's and add them together. So I have carbon starting out here, and I have one, and I have carbon on this side, two. So I'm going to leave this alone. I'm not going to do anything to this equation. Then over here I've got H2. Well, here I've got two H2. So I want to multiply this equation by two. So if I do that, then I need to multiply my delta H by two. Then I've got methane on this side. I have methane on this side. Okay, so I don't want to do anything else. So I'm going to rewrite my equations so that I can start canceling things. And I can only cancel on things opposite of the yield sign. Okay. So I've got, um, oh, I forgot to put this two right here. Okay. So I've got two waters. I have two waters here I can cancel. I have two O2s, and see I've got an O2, an O2. So I've got two O2s on this side. Those two will cancel. My CO2s will cancel. And I'm left with C plus 2H2 gives me CH. And I just have to do the same thing to my delta H. So I have 393.5 plus um, negative. So this gives me, whoops, that's a negative. So negative 71.6 plus 890.3. So I get 393.5. And I get negative 74.8 kilojoules. So this is my delta H. All right, given the following reaction, delta H values, find the delta H or the heat of reaction or heat of formation of this equation. Okay, so here I have... B2H6 on this side, and here it's on this side. So I'm going to leave the second equation alone. Then I have six Cl2s by my Cl2. Okay, I need 12 of these. Sorry that I have six Cl2s, and that means I need to multiply this by 12. Then I've got two BCl3s. All right, well, they're on the wrong side, so I need to flip it and multiply it by two. So two and flip. And then this will be 2, and I'm going to change the sign. Okay, all right, so let's rewrite these. So 2BCL3 plus 6. Oh, wait, I said I was going to flip it. Ooh, it's a bigger eraser. Okay, I had 12 here. All right, so I'm going to flip it. 6HCL plus 2H3BO3 yields. 6H2O plus 2BCL3. Okay, then I said I was going to leave this one alone. So I'm just going to rewrite it. And then this one I'm just going to multiply by 12. So then I'll have 6H2 plus 6Cl2 yields 12. HCl. Okay, so let's cancel some stuff. So my six HCls, I can reduce that one. Be six. These cancel. My waters cancel, and my hydrogens cancel. So let's rewrite this. I've got B2H6 plus six Cl2 yields two. Well, six HCl plus. 2BCl3, which is matches this. So then I'll just do the same for my um, delta H. So times 2 is 225 
493.4 and then negative 90, whoops, negative 92.3 times 12 gives me negative 1107.6. And then I'm going to add all these up. And I get negative 1376 kilojoules per mole. So that's my delta H. All right, calculate the heat of reaction for uh, H2 plus O2 gives yields H2O. They give, give me the bond energies here. So my bond energy H2, 436 kilojoules per mole. Oops. Ah. So we're going to use delta H. We can't do these problems. This is different. Nope, different, different. Calorimetry problems. 445 gram sample of ice at negative 58 degrees Celsius is heated until its temperature reaches negative 290, negative 29 degrees Celsius. Find the change in heat. So I'm going to use Q equals MCAT. And I've got 445 grams of ice, which is water. So times my specific heat of water, which is always 4.184 times my temperature change, so it my final minus my initial, and I get 29 plus equals 5,994.42 joules and the sign is positive so that means this is an endothermic reaction. 218 sample of steam at 121 degrees Celsius is cooled to ice. Find the change in heat of the system. All right so Q equals MCAT. My mass is 218 grams. Since this is steam, it's still water, so 4.184. And it, it cooled, so let's say at 218, 4.184. This is negative 135. Times four point one eight four times two eight two. Negative one two three one two four point twelve joules. All right, and since my sign here is negative, that means this is an exothermic reaction. A block of aluminum weighing one hundred forty grams is cooled from ninety eight point four degrees Celsius to sixty two, with the release of a thousand eighty joules of heat. From this, calculate the specific heat of aluminum. Okay, so I'm going to use Q equals MCAT. And I'm wanting the specific heat. So this is C. I'm looking for C. They gave me joules of heat. Okay, and they said that it was released. So that means my Q is negative and it released 1080 joules of heat. My mass is 140. I don't know my specific heat. That's what I'm looking for. And it was cooled from that to this, so it's always final minus initial. So then I get negative 1080, 140 times, let's see, 62 .2 minus 98.4 times 140 gives me negative 5,068C. Divide both sides by that. And C equals negative 1080. 
I'm getting 0.213. This is my specific heat of iron, aluminum, sorry. All right, I hope those problems were helpful.